Okay guys, so we are going to make sure that you are all set to start video conferencing with your teachers for this new mobile learning world that we're living in. Um, the first thing you will be receiving is a link from your teachers, probably most likely in Google Classroom, and that's going to be the link that you'll click to get into the Zoom video conference. Now to make life a little easier for yourself, um, I would suggest downloading the Zoom app on a tablet or on a phone ahead of time um, before the day of your actual video session with your teacher. But you don't have to, and if you forget or don't have the chance, I'll walk you through how you will do it when you actually have that invitation from your teacher and the app has not yet been downloaded. Okay, so you're going to get the URL link um, in Google Classroom probably or in an email. When you click on the link, it's going to ask you to open up um, the link in whatever browser you're using and then it'll say that it's trying to open it in another application. You'll probably get that message. Now, if you already downloaded the app, you can just click right on the first button that's gonna say join the meeting. But if you didn't download the app ahead of time, you're going to get the prompt that you need to download it from the app store, whatever app store you use for your individual device. So then you'll have to go into that store, you'll have to get the app, and then once you've selected to get the app, it's going to ask you to either sign up or sign in, and you actually don't need to do either. You do not need a Zoom account. All you need to do is join the meeting, and your teacher probably sent you also um, the meeting ID number, and you can just go on and do it right there and put in the meeting code number. Or you can just back out of here and go back into the original assignment posting, click on that, and then go in using the app, um, and it'll automatically hook you up. Um, you are going to need to answer your name. The default is going to be whatever your device default is. You might as well put your name so your teacher knows that it is you. Um, Zoom is going to need to access the microphone so your teacher can hear you if you're asking a question. Um, you do not need to have Zoom send you notifications. You just you can just put not to allow that. Um, you want to hear the others, so yes. You want to hear others, you have to click on join audio so you can hear what your teacher and others are saying. So once you click to get in, you'll be like, Wow, there's my teacher. Um, at the bottom of the screen, you have some options to turn on your video and audio and make sure that's working. There's even an option to test your video and audio. This is what it looks like when you're joining from an iPad. Um, it will talk about you joining with or without video. Teachers are pretty much going to have it set that you cannot join with video though. So just go ahead and click join without video. We can always change that once the session started. Um, also on the iPad, those controls I was just speaking about there at the top um, for you to use. And if you click on the little three dots for where it says more, um, you can chat and send a note to your teacher or you can raise your hand. Um, if you click on chat, it'll just open up a chat window so you can send it to your teacher like I said. Um, if you did raise your hand and then you change your mind, you can click on those three dots again and lower your hand. So you'll see those are um, just a few options that you have when you are working with Zoom conferencing. Listen guys, we know there's going to be a learning curve. We know this is going to take some getting used to, but we also know that we can do it. <laughs>